Hi and welcome back. So I want to share some of the technologies that we've been installing, products that I've purchased as we go through the build and concentrating over the next few videos on the home automation system that we've put in, which is, that for those of you who looked at it, locks on. Um, I'll dive into a, a fairly extensive second fix video um, for that. It's been up and running a couple of weeks now. Um, one of the things that we wanted was to have a a tablet somewhere in the home. The whole point with locks on is you shouldn't need to interact with an app for most of what you need to do. But we like the idea of having a tablet mounted on a wall somewhere that we could easily access. And I looked at a number of different um, iPad mounts that we could use. Uh, and there's quite a variety of different things that you could look at there. A lot of them I didn't like because they were permanently mounted and I thought I might need to take it off the wall. I wanted it to be able to charge uh, in that location and I decided I was probably going to use power over ethernet for that. So the location I'm going to put the tablet in, I'd run a Cat6 cable to. So I went out looking at the marketplace for a, a PoE, power over ethernet powered iPad holder where the tablet could be removed. And there are some nice products out there, but relatively expensive, two, 300 euros uh, or more. And some of those were actually fixed to the wall. So I struggled to find anything under about 300, 350 pounds which ticked all the boxes. And I thought, well, I'm not actually sure just how much we're gonna use the tablet there. So started looking around and actually found on um, AliExpress, where you're buying directly from China, a product that looked pretty reasonable. So I thought I'd give that a go and do an unboxing for you now to see, you know, is the product that I bought of reasonable quality um, or not? Um, and is it gonna fit my needs for the price that we paid? Luckily it came in at something like 117 pounds, so under the limit where you have to pay import duty fees and VAT, so 117 pound landed. I ordered it a week ago, so it took seven days to arrive via air freight from China, which for that price I think is uh, pretty good. So let's crack on and have a look at the, the iPad mount and see what we think. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. So this is a, uh, a fast charge uh, iPad mount. Um, I bought the um, latest 10th generation iPad, which is like 10.9 inches. Now I did find there were some mounts available for some of the older iPads at a lower price point, but for something that was gonna support the latest model, I, I struggled to find anything under the sort of 300 pounds mark or so, as I said. So this arrived in a week. What have we got here? So some basic instructions. There's the uh, wall mount itself, which you can see with connection to uh, PoE. And I think it comes with a fairly basic uh, iPad case. Uh, that connects that with a magnetic holding. So that's the iPad case itself, which has um, so a, a magnetic mount on the rear, and we can see there's a inductive charging coil and a USB-C connector that the iPad uh, takes. And then looks like the, the wall mount and PoE power supply here. And I'm, I'm hoping from looking at the dimensions that this will fit a standard UK uh, back socket. Um, so that looks uh, pretty good, just a couple of mounting screws there. Um, I think it described it as having a an aluminium front panel, I'm not sure of that. Um, that rear panel looks to be a 3D printed part, so obviously relatively low volume. I found quite a few of these where you could buy a 24 volt power or 240 volt power supply, but this is a PoE version, so we've got Ethernet in the back there. Obviously power connectivity, so sprung uh, pins on the front and you can't rotate it so it can go in either landscape where I intend to use it or portrait mode uh, so it looks like that just grips on the front there um, and pulls off and on the rear we can see we've got a, a PCB with various connectivity for the power feed there um, and what else is in the box that probably looks just like a back box I'm hoping this will fit a standard UK uh, mounting point because I've got one already plastered into the wall it's been decorated, so yeah, just a reasonably standard back box. I think in that location, I won't bother taking that out. Let's just see how it um, potentially fits into my iPad. So I'll say I've got the 10th generation iPad unit here. Um, just have to be careful, I guess, getting that USB C in. Um, so, reasonably looking, good looking. Um, iPad mount um, and I'm planning to use the um, the locks on uh, system on here so that seems to be um, just coming up and connecting to my system so this is the what locks on call the ambient mode so I can see what's going on in the room here 
uh, date and time and I can control things in the room that I'm in. I mean you can change this menu, I'll have a play around with that when I get it mounted on, on the wall. Um, but um, you know, reasonably happy with that as a, as a case I have to say, it's sort of soft uh, plastic that isn't too frustrating to see that on the back there. I think that looks like another 3D printed uh, part on there. So interesting to see um, them using 3D printed parts for um, uh, production quality uh, equipment. Um, I'll just try and plug a, I think this is a live PoE connection that I've got here and see when we connect that to the board if we get charging happening. Um, just drop it out of there. And we do, so my battery's at 100%, but I'm showing as charging. So quite pleased with that. I think um, for 117 pounds, quite impressed with uh, the quality of that as uh, an item. I'll perhaps show it again and how we interact with locks on when I get it mounted um, up on the wall in the next few days time. So my first purchase from AliExpress, um, quite pleased with that. Shipping time of you know seven days is pretty good. So just looking at that in uh, a little bit more detail, I've decided to, to take a look at that as how we would fit it. So that does look to be an aluminium uh, front plate with some magnets in there obviously to, uh, to help the, uh, hold the tablet against that. And then the rear panel that goes into the wall, definitely a 3D printed part, also has a relatively inexpensive uh, PoE um, DC power supply fitted in there. Um, this is a a shallow uh, back box. I think I've got a deeper one fitted in the wall where I need to fit this. Um, looking at it size-wise, um, it's, it's going to go in, but what I'm probably going to have to do is bend back the other tabs. So obviously in a UK socket we have uh, tabs either side and some top and bottom, and I've had that before when trying to get things fitted into a socket that is a little bit tight on space. So I'll just have to tuck those down, I think, um, get that installed. This is a I think a 25 mil, you probably want a 35 or a 45 mil bracket. Uh, I'm probably going to be all right here because we've dot and dabbed and I've got insulated plasterboard, so I might well find that I've got plenty of room to fit that. Um, so maybe let's go and have a look at how that goes uh, into the wall. Um, so some of you that have uh, watched my videos before might have seen the Beadmaster devices that I've been fitting. This is a um, uh, plastic frame that you fit around a spotlight or a light switch and I've had varying results with them I have to say. I think they're a good idea. I've had some come loose in the plaster around a light which is a bit disappointing. Um, so I've got my locks on light switch that we've got fitted here and then further up the wall I want the tablet. I've got a, um, I, I, I can just see, you might not be able to make out uh, a, an area there where there is another box with a Cat6 cable hidden behind that. Um, so I tend to just give that a tap and where the plaster is um, loose on the frame that comes out. I might just get in the way of the camera a little bit here. Um, and then we just go around the edges. Um, and there's a, a plastic frame with a thicker frame uh, behind it. Picks on that way, you'll see that start to appear. So yeah, I quite like these. They give us a nice smooth surface on the wall to fix your switch to. Um, through there. There's some reinforcing tabs in the centres that makes that a little bit harder. Um, pick that away to be able to see better what we're doing. So that's where the switch is going to go. Just come along here and again along the bottom. We remove that and whilst I haven't terminated it yet, you can see I've got a Cat6 cable hidden in the back of there. I think actually looking at this because I've got um, because I've got some steels on this wall, I've got some uh, lightly insulated uh, plasterboard going on there. So I've got plenty of depth um, and that's going to fit really quite nicely into that slot there. So uh, I'll just get that secured and wired up and we'll come back and have a look. 
So, sorry to jump around a bit, but I thought I'd come back after we'd had this mounted on the wall for a few days and give my final thoughts. Um, so, I think it's a, a relatively cheap uh, case that they've used here with a uh, retrofit charging pad that, you know, it's okay, it's uh, flexible, I've still got access to all of the buttons, the fingerprint reader, those sorts of things. Um, the wall switch here actually matches in quite nicely with my locks on uh, wall switches. I might look to get some coloured screws so that doesn't stand out quite so much when the tablet isn't on the wall. Um, the magnet holds that quite nicely in either uh, landscape or portrait uh, mode. Um, that, that app for locks on works really just in landscape when we're in the ambient mode. Um, it's a little bit little bit wobbly when it's on here uh, when you're typing towards the corners um, but there's no way that's coming off the wall without you know, uh, quite a tug um, to pull that off so um, overall for 117 pounds pretty pleased with that it works quite well uh, the nice thing with the um, ambient mode that we have uh, here on um, locks on is that actually links into presence detection so this is mounted in our kitchen space We've got a PIR sensor up on the ceiling, so as you walk into the room, depending on the time of day, the iPad will uh, display will come on with the ambient mode displayed in the background. So the combination of the wall mount and locks on is great, but even if you're using this with Home Assistant or anything else, um, pretty impressed uh, with this from uh, AliExpress. And if you wanted to put a different case, I think it would be relatively easy to uh, remove that inductive loop and put that on a case of, of your choosing if you wanted something slightly better than the one that comes with it. Um, but overall, relatively pleased with that uh, purchase from AliExpress. You don't know what you're going to get direct from China. It came in just seven days. Um, nice that it came in under that £135 or whatever the VAT limit is, so didn't have any additional costs added to it. So I'll certainly look at products from there again if there's a big enough difference I think if, if there's not a significant saving I probably still much prefer to buy um, something shipping within the UK but from my first experience of using AliExpress it was worth it and quite happy with the result that we've got with the tablet mounted on the wall thank you so much